Hey, Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement. So we're in the NFL playoffs. There's a story from a couple weeks ago about a Las Vegas Raiders fan that went to Cincinnati to watch his team play uh, the Bengals. He's just outside the stadium gate. He stumbles and falls. Fortunately, there's a Bengals fan there who just happens to be an ICU nurse. He comes to his aid and starts administering CPR and continues on until the emergency personnel uh, took over. Um, even though he and his patient were uh, rooting for different teams, he later said, it doesn't matter who you are, you deserve to live. That's what matters. We need to hear stories of hope today, don't we? I'm not so sure that things really are as bad as they are portrayed out there. As followers of Christ, we need to be agents of hope. I saw a YouTube video this week that, that really um, gave me an experience of hope. Uh, in the video, over 65 churches and Christian movements in the UK came together as a mass choir and virtually they sang the song, The Blessing, over their nation. I'm including a link to that video so you can watch it right down here. God designed the church as the hope of the world. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that the church is the body of Christ. The, the church is the visible manifestation of Jesus' ongoing ministry on earth. No other organization can make that claim. We are the bearers of hope, and boy, does the world ever need us to live into our call. How about you? How about today? Will you today find an opportunity, be aware of an opportunity where you can be an agent of hope? And I believe this, if you do that, you'll be encouraged.